This is a TK8 special edition. I'm going to show you how to create and install Nick Collection 5 actions to use with your new My Actions panel with the all new TK8 update version 1.2.2. Stay tuned. And there might even be some free actions for you, but watch the video the whole way through. Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. This is a special edition TK8 video. I hope everyone's enjoying the new update. It's a major update. This is version 1.2.2 on the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. I really love this update. I love the new My Actions panel. Hey, let me know in the comments section below what you think of the new Actions panel. Do you love it as much as I do? I'd really love to hear from you. And also, if you don't yet have the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, why don't you pick it up? It's very inexpensive. And right now, there's a sale going on from now until the end of July 2022. And to get that sale price, use my promo code DK15. You'll save 20% off anything at the TK web store. Normally, my promo is good for 15% off, but with this sale, it's good for 20% off. And if you're already an existing TK8 customer, this is a free update for you. Now, if you enjoy using the Nick Collection, this video is for you. Now, this addresses the Nick Collection 5, the latest update. I can't speak to older versions because I don't have the older version, okay? But I'm going to show you how to create actions that will work in your My Actions panel. And also, I have an affiliation with DxO, so if you use my affiliate link in the description below, if you ever want to purchase any DxO software or the Nick Collection, I get credit when you do that. And by the way, when you use my promo code DK15 for the TK8 plugin for Photoshop or videos, I get credit for that. I make a small commission and it really helps me to keep these videos coming your way and I just want to keep them coming your way. The reason for this video today, now in the past I've made a video how to uh, create menu items and then use those as a TK8 action, but I found out last week when I was talking to Tony Kuiper, we discovered that you cannot launch the Nick collection as a regular menu item. So I'm going to show you today how you can do it because it's very frustrating if you're trying to do it as a menu item but I'll show you how we can make it work. So this is going to be good for you. And the other thing I want to do for you is I'm going to show you how to make the action, but then I'm also going to give you all the actions for the different uh, Nick Collection uh, software. And basically what I'll be giving you is an action for the Analog Effects Pro 3, Color Effects Pro 5, Define 2, HDR Effects Pro 2, I couldn't get perspective effects to work. I'm going to see if I, I'm going to keep working on that and see if I can get it to work. I don't know if I can or not. It's created a little bit differently than the other uh, Nick collection, but also the uh, output sharpener and silver effects pro three and the vase of three. So you're going to get all those actions for free. But first I want to show you how to make them, but it won't just stop there. I'll also show you how to install the free actions that I'm giving you into the uh, new My Actions panel. It's really quick. It's really easy. So you're going to want to watch this entire video and there'll be a download link to get the whole action set. And you'll find that in the description below the video. And that's a special gift for me to you, all my faithful TK Friday viewers. I really appreciate you. And I thank you so much for all your encouragement and your help, and when you use my affiliate links and things like that, man, it really means a lot to me. So thank you very much. I will link the video where I show you how to make menu items as actions for your TK8 plugin for Photoshop at the end of this video, if you haven't seen it. But remember, it does not apply to the Nick Collection menu items. This is different, and that's what this is about. Now, I only need to show you how to do this on one of the plugins because it will be the same for all the other plugins. You'll just repeat the steps. But don't forget, you can download my entire action set with all these actions made for you already. All you need to do, and I'll show you how to do it, is install them into your My Actions panel. Well, after that introduction, sorry, it was a little long-winded, but I wanted to cover everything as best as I could. Now, the first thing you wanna do is open up your actions, your Photoshop actions. So look for that little play icon. Now, after you've opened your actions panel, 
there's a lot of different software in that Nick collection. So I would recommend putting that into an action set. And to do that, you want to come down to the bottom of your actions panel and click this icon right here. And that will give you this new set dialog box that comes up and give it a name, like maybe like Nick collection and call it okay. Name it whatever you want, but whatever makes sense to you. But this is very important. This is an action set. Now to add an action, all you need to do is come down here next to that action set folder, click the one next to it called create new action, click on that and you'll start making your first new action. Now I'm going to show you how to make the color effects pro five action. So we'll just type in here like color and FX for short and five. Now, if you use the CX panel like I do, it's not as wide as the combo panel. They both do the same thing, but if you use a uh, shorter wording, it'll fit better into here all in one line, which I highly recommend. And then just click this record button and you'll notice you have the little red record indicator on here, noting that you are recording every step that you make in Photoshop at this point. Now follow my steps very closely because if you don't, this will not work for you. Okay, so the first thing we do have to do is make a new layer. Now you'll notice I have my typical balance and contrast layer above background that I start all my Photoshop workflow with okay so i don't have a stamp layer or anything like that so the first thing you need to do is come up to the photoshop menu and click on layer and new and then click on layer and now you're going to name that layer now again pay close attention this is only going to be a temporary layer so i'm going to do an underscore temp nick layer because this is going to go away later on. I need this to make this action work. I told you it's a little bit different with this next software. And then just click OK. And now you'll notice we have this step here called Make Layer. And if you click right here, you can see it's using a layer and it's naming it Temp Nick Layer. So that's kind of important. I'm going to close this. Now we're still recording. We need to merge everything together. Now we can't use the TK8 action here where it merges all layers together because remember photoshop is unable to record a tk8 button click as an action and so in making this action we have to do it the old-fashioned way and that is a shift option commander control e they call that the claw i've heard it called that you know because you're using all your fingers looks like a claw but that merges all your layers together but you notice this this layer is named temp nick layer because we're going to get rid of it in a little bit but follow close and my purpose here is really showing you and teaching you how to make this action. But in reality, you'll just download my action set and you won't have to do any of this. But it's nice to know how it's done. Next, what we want to do is come up to the action panel and click right here. Call it a little hamburger menu. It's a little fly out menu. Click on that and find insert menu item. So click this insert menu item and this dialog comes up. And it says none selected. Oh gosh, so what are we going to do? Here's all you have to do. Come up to filter. And you will just repeat this step for all the different plugins. It's all going to work the same way. But you're going to come down, find a plugin that you want for your first action. And I'm going to do Color Effects Pro 5. So we'll just click on that. And now you'll notice it says here menu item. Now says Nick Collection Color Effects Pro 5 and click OK. And there it is right there. And now what we need to do is we need to stop the recording by clicking this little stop icon right here. And then what you want to do is come up here to color FX five, click on that because that's where the action plays from. And you want to play that action. Now at this point, the action is not recording. Now the layer we made this temporary Nick layer, we're going to get rid of it. It's already selected. So just click your trash can right here and it goes away. And now with this color FX five selected, click the play button and run that action. Now it's going to launch Nick Color Effects Pro 5. And let's just do something. I'll just put any old filter on here. Let's turn it, uh, let's put a bi color filter on it. I'm not going to get fancy here, but you can see a difference. This is all I want to show you. And let's click apply. And when we do, we come back into Photoshop. Now it's still doing its little thing. It's thinking here a little bit. Now you'll notice here, there it is, it came back in right, but look, you got this, that Nick, that temp Nick layer came back. Why did it do that? Well, it just does, but we're gonna get rid of it, and I'll show you that next. We're gonna add to this recording of this action. Now, right now we're on its actual group that it's in. Come down to the last step you made, Color Effects Pro 5, and click on that. 
and now click the record icon to start the recording process again. Now pay close attention here because this really messed me up a little bit and I had to figure it out. We need to get rid of this layer, but you just can't click on this layer and delete it. It won't delete properly. Believe me, trust me, I've tried it a hundred times and failed a hundred times. So click on this layer and hold your left click down in your mouse and drag it onto this trash can. This is a very important step. And when you do, you'll notice it says delete layer, temp nick layer. If you just would click delete, it would say delete current layer and that would screw you up. You would not be a happy camper. Now that's the final step. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, it wasn't that easy actually, at least for me it wasn't. It might be for others out there, but it, for me it was a little challenging. But now we need to stop the recording, so just click on the stop icon. Now this step is important. We need to test it out and make sure it's working, right? So here's what I want you to do. Let's get rid of all this stuff up here. Now we can use the uh, CX or combo panel for this. I'm going to go ahead and just click the trash can here and delete that, okay? And now we're going to run this action. I'm going to show you how to do it in the My Action panel, but we haven't got there yet. That's coming up, so follow closely. So make sure you're on the group, the color FX5, or it's not going to work. So click here and click play. Now it should open up Color Effects Pro 5. We'll see here. It's opening it up now. So here it is. Let's use something different this time. Let's use, uh, let's turn it into a black and white conversion. Now I'm not making any adjustments, right? I just want you to see a change has taken place. Let's click apply. And now we're coming back into Photoshop and let's see if it does its job. And yes, it does. Look, it got rid of that temporary layer for us and now we have our black and white conversion. Pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'm just going to click on my trash can. Now let's work with the My Action Panel. I'll show you how to load it up. Let me go ahead and close this uh, Action Panel because we don't need it anymore. This is what you're gonna see when you download the Action. This is what the Action will look like. And all you have to do, Photoshop can be open, just double click on it. And when you do, you should find it at the bottom of your list in a, um, it's gonna look like this. The Joy of Editing, Nick Software, and it's gonna have all those actions in it right like that now this action set is the last action i just made showing you on this video here so if we open it up by clicking right here you can see there's that color fx5 in there i don't really need it now because i've already made these actions so if you ever want to get rid of a action set or an action just click on the action or an action set click it and click on the trash can and it says you want to delete that selection yes okay and it's gone but this is what it's going to look like after you double click that action icon it's going to put the actions right in there now we can close this again now let's load up our new action set right inside of the my actions panel i'll pull this out of here and make it a little bigger just so we can see it nice and plainly here okay so to add that action set in here all we need to do is click this plus and choose an action set and it's this one right here the joy of editing nick software so I'm gonna click on this and look, there's all my actions. Now, I'm gonna click the first action, it turns green, the second, I'm clicking them all. I'll just go down the list and keep clicking. And once I got them all clicked in, click the plus. And let's make this even bigger now. There they all are. Now I wanna color code these green. So I'm gonna to go to the top and I'm gonna right click it and give it a green color code because these are all the Nick collection and I want to be able to know where they're all at. I'll just keep right clicking and turning them green. And I do like green. It's probably one of my favorite colors. And let's turn this one green and turn this one green as well. So there's all my Nick collection right there in kind of like a group you could say because the color coding denotes to me that is a group. You see all these actions in yellow. These are all my Topaz actions. The purple is my Luminar actions. Uh, then I have these actions I work with together, neural filters, which I use neural filters to make a depth map. And then I send it into a lens blur filter. I have a video showing where I do that. And then here's all my Nick collection right here. Now let me just pull this out of the way and I'll, I'll drag it a little bit smaller like this. In fact, no, I'm going to put it right back in. To get it back into the CX panel, you have to drag it the whole way to the bottom, see where it turns blue and release it, and then click here. You see the little arrow up and down, click it and drag it up hard. And once it hits the edge, that's as far as it can go. 
Now, to launch Color Effects Pro 5, all I have to do now is click right here. Give it a second or two, it'll launch it. And just like that, this time let's add something else. Let's throw some glamour glow on there. Let's just really uh, jack it up so we can really see we made an effect on there, okay? This is not an editing tutorial, but I just want to show you that this that these actions work. I'll click apply. That sends us back into Photoshop. There's our temp filter. Watch, that'll go away, or temp layer, I should say. But there's Glamour Glow, right? And I can do a Command or Control Z and undo it because that's one of the beautiful things about working with my actions. It gets rid of everything you've done to create that action with a simple undo. If you ran that action from the Photoshop Actions panel, you would have had to get rid of a whole bunch of steps. But with the TK8 My Actions panel, one simple undo, and you're back to the way the image was before you ran the filter. In case you didn't like it, you may say, I don't like this. And maybe I'll try something else. So let's try another one of these and see if they work. Let's try, um, let's try Analog Effects 3. So let's click on this one, launch it, and see what we get. And I love Analog Effects 3. Yeah, they did a new update on this Nick Collection 5 with it. So let me just find something here. Let's go a little crazy so you can really see something that has been altered. Let's click on this double exposure and see what that looks like. Wow, that is crazy looking, right? But that's art, you know. This is modern art. No, I'm just kidding. But it may... To some people, they may say, you know what, that's really cool. I can throw some textures on here. I can get a really nice artwork out of this piece. So, but say we like it, we can click apply and let's see what happens. We're going to come back into Photoshop. There's that temp Nick layer. And after it's done, that layer should go away, hopefully. Analog effects takes a little longer because it's doing a lot of different things for that particular preset I just ran. But look, it got rid of that, that temporary layer. And here we are. And now at this point, if I didn't like it, I can just do a command or control Z or hit this step back button, step back. I can step forward and put it back on. You know, I could try different luminosity masks on it, which, and I did a video showing how I do a workflow when I'm working with Nick Filters because I like working with Nick Filters, but Nick Filters along with the TK plugin for Photoshop and luminosity masks and color masks and zone masks, it really makes you able to do things that you normally couldn't do. You can take the Nick collection beyond what it was meant to be. Well, there it is, everyone. Now, I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to download your free action set to launch the Nick Collection 5. And that's right from the TK8 My Actions panel with that great undo feature. If you're an existing user of TK8, go ahead and update your TK8 plugin for Photoshop. If you don't yet have it, go ahead and pick it up. Use my promo code DK15. Saves you 20% till the end of the month. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.